Uh. Oh, hi there. I'm Anthony Francis. Welcome to another episode of Simple Improv, where we take... I'm sorry? Oh, what am I reading? You'd like to hear about all my improv books? Well, okay then. Well, I'll take a little bit of time in this episode to talk about some improv books that I love that I can't recommend enough to people who want to learn more about improv or want to uh, increase their improv knowledge. So we're going to run through a couple of the books that I have. I have more here than, uh, than are in this pile, but these are some of my favorite, favorite improv books. First improv book, The Complete Improviser by Bill Arnett. This book is great. It's a little dry, as you can see from the cover, Bill has a real technical aspect to all of his uh, improv. No pictures, not that you really need pictures, but, uh, but just very dry, but brilliant, brilliant, brilliant guy. This is an, a mandatory book. Have to have this book. Um, the opposite of that book is this book. This is Jill Bernard's uh, Cute Book of Improv small cute book of improv, excuse me. And if you've never met Jill Bernard, I was fortunate enough to take a workshop with her. She's like a walking children's book anyway. She's such a fun, lighthearted person. This is a great, so many pictures in this book. This book has pictures on every page. It is delightful and fun, and it's got a lot of great information, and it's a great way to pull you back to reality if you've taken improv to a dark place. Great book here. Um, the Old School, very, very influential book in everything that I do. Viola Spolin's book, uh, Improvisation for the Theater, uh, the third edition is the one that I have. It's, as you can see, just a little bit of information here. Really great book, really helps me with side coaching when I side coach students. Love it. Not a book that's instructional, but a book that uh, talks about uh, the lives of two of uh, the most incredible improvisers alive today, um, T.J. Jagodowski and Dave Pasquizzi. And this book was also written by uh, Pam Victor, who's an improviser, and she has taken, uh, she met with them and got all of their un incredible, incredible story on paper, which is wonderful for the improv community, wonderful for anyone who wants to read just a good book. This book is just fun to read. Not instructional, it's about them, and it's about improv in general, and they're great. Really wonderful. Uh, next book that I like to read that has helped me in my improv life is The Art of Clowning by uh, Eli Simon. And this book is good. It's, um, it's, it's really well written with a lot of diagrams and information in there. Um, clowning is very similar to improv. And um, taking a clowning class, learning more about clowning if you're an improviser, I think is very important. Uh, I haven't taken a clowning class, so I can't tell you to take one, but I want to take one, so there's that. Uh, if you're an improv teacher, another book I highly recommend is Directing Improv by Asaf Ronan out of Austin, Texas. Asaf is a brilliant teacher, brilliant improv teacher, great writer, uh, great with kids. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's really awesome, really, really awesome guy. Uh, this book is uh, also essential, essential if you're going to be teaching improv to people. Uh, can't, uh, I can't say enough good things about that book. Uh, another great book and another great teacher, Jimmy Corain, also Liz Allen. Uh, wrote this book together, uh, Improvising Better, A Guide for the Working Improviser, and I'm trying not to glare it there. This is a great book, uh, short, um, he signed it, yes. very nice guy, um, really great teacher, uh, really good exercises in here. This book is full of exercises and warm-ups and things, and also some really good advice that I needed, which was don't do improv more than two times a week. Really helpful, wish I'd heard it sooner, but it's fine. I uh, love what I do. So, sometimes you need a break, and he's right. Uh, this book is Mick Napier's book on long form called Behind the Scenes. But this is his second book. His first book, Improvise, is out on loan right now. I don't have it at home to show you. But this book is, and his first book, are essential books to have on improv. You know, there's a lot of great exercises and things in this book, but they're not outlined as exercises, really. You've got to read this book to really pull the good stuff out of it. Um, it's really great. Oh, there's a great chapter in here about being funny, which is really important for improvisers to know about. And then I love how in one chapter he talks about completely getting rid of the back line in an improv show, and then in the next chapter he talks about why you should have a back line. Now that could sound infuriating and frustrating, and it was for me, but what's great about that is it just goes to show that he's not showing you how to do improv his way, 
he's explaining improv to you and he's leaving it up to you like a good improviser, uh, improv director should. He leaves it up to you to make the choices for yourself. So uh, that's it really um, for now. I mean, there's, uh, there's of course a ton of improv books out there. I myself, my next book to get is uh, Paul Valancourt. He wrote a really great book. I think it's called The Triangle of the Scene. He's great. He also does YouTube videos, which I highly recommend you watch. Uh, this video has gone uh, a little long. I know we're about to approach uh, six minutes, which is super long for my videos, but uh, these are great books. Highly recommend them, and I uh, hope you get to read them. All right? Uh, thanks so much. This is another episode of Simple Improv, and um, you know what? If it's not an improv book, but if it's something that can help you in your everyday life, uh, books are full of great knowledge, which I'm sure you already know. Keep reading. Always keep reading, because... Um, there's great information out there and it doesn't take a lot to just sit down and read a good book. All right, I'm Anthony Francis. Thanks so much for watching. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks. It's, it's a lot of talking. Thanks so much for watching.